hello guys how are you doing today welcome back to this amazing youtube channel so if you're new here katiko sana you're in the right place and if you're a returning subscriber you're so much welcome and really really thank you for supporting my content so uh, my name is lona and i'm a container cloud and SRE engineer and i mostly deal with containers so the area that i find myself working with most is containers and uh, today guys i was taking on my local containers um a local cluster which i actually run in virtual box let me show you so I have virtual box and a number of VMs. This is a master node that okay. This this cluster I just use it sometimes to do a number of tests before um I probably go and uh, proceed to do the same thing for the for our you know what for what I do at work. So it's just a small cluster which I use to test stuff. So if you're new to Kubernetes and you're wondering how best you can run Kubernetes, um just for learning purposes or probably to test a number of things on your own you can actually use virtualbox so you, you can check on my previous video which I, I i did about how to run vms on virtualbox if you're new to learning that's what i'm saying because i know for experienced people you probably have your labs elsewhere maybe you have your labs at work or your test environments at work but for someone who wants to learn uh, who wants to get started with maybe working with kubernetes you can simply install virtualbox on your environment Run a few VMs and I install Kubernetes cluster. So I have this cluster with master 01, worker 01 and worker 02. And then um, when I was coming to power on the cluster, I realized that one of the nodes is not ready. And that's what I want us to do today to troubleshoot together. I want to troubleshoot with you so that maybe if you come across such an issue, then you'll be able to understand why your node is not running. So I've powered off the VMs. Let me just... Uh, minimize that one so these are the vms this is the master node and um uh, i don't install updates now so when you run kubectl get notes this is what you have so if you're new to kubernetes uh maybe you need to commands in kubernetes kubectl is the tool that you use to interact with the api server in kubernetes to return anything that you want to to, to work to to do uh, when you're running Kubernetes, so I want to get notes and make the kubectl get notes. These are the notes that, that make up the cluster. So you can see I have my master node here, which is the makes up the control plane. I have one worker node which is ready, and I have another worker node which is not ready. So um, this one cannot take uh, workloads, it cannot take uh, ports or containers because it's not ready. So you'll find that most of uh, actually all my containers will be. In this specific worker node because it's ready so i want us to check why this is not ready and how we can troubleshoot and make it uh, come back to live so this is my worker zero two um let's log in yeah so the first thing i wanted to check was the status of kubelet remember when you're installing kubernetes there are a number of um things that you need to install on the worker nodes. The first one is the kubelet. You know that kubelet is actually the one that uh, ensures that your ports are running. It communicates with the master node or the the API server from the worker to make sure that your, uh, your ports are always running. If you create a new deployment, maybe a deployment that has five replicas, kubelet will make sure that all those five replicas are running. So in case you maybe increase your deployment replicas to 10, Kubelet will make sure that all the 10 ports are brought up in the in the various nodes in your cluster. So now, um, as you can see, kubectl is not, um, I mean, kubelet is not running. So let's take a seeing system ctl status um, kubelet. Pseudo system ctl status kubelet. yeah and as you can see that kubelet is actually not running and so probably this is the reason why my node here is not ready so the first thing you can try and do is to you can also check the status of um the container engine so depending on what container engine that you installed when you are running your when you're installing your kubernetes cluster so remember Something like Docker um, has been um, disabled in the new versions of Kubernetes. So from version 1.24 of Kubernetes, you will no longer be using Docker. So you could uh, probably install container D 
or maybe cryo so for me i was using cryo you can actually also check the status of cryo here ctl sorry so the system ctl status cryo and you can see this one is active and running so the issue is actually on um kubelet service so let's try and bring up the kubelet service so sudo system ctl restart kubelet so let's run the command let's see if it's able to come up so still it's not coming up let's troubleshoot further we can check um the locks so sudo General CTL. Uh, what is it saying? It's loaded. Oh. It's actually activating, so maybe you should give it a few seconds to see if it's going to be able to come. Let's check the status again. Still saying activating. Okay, let's check the locks. So sudo channel ctl dash xc. You can see um, no page. Yeah, so here at least you can get more information about um, about our kiblet and why it's not running. So it's entered a fail state with the result exit code defined by that one. Let's see if we can get an issue. Yeah, so this is actually the issue. Running with swap is not supported. This is the problem. So every time you're installing a Kubernetes cluster, you're supposed to disable swap. All right, so I think uh, I probably maybe forgot to disable swap here, or maybe I didn't do it like uh, permanently. So let's go ahead and disable swap and see if our kubelet service will start. So using general CTL will actually give you more information on what could be happening on any service that is not coming up or that you're trying to troubleshoot. So I think general CTL having you know um, more information that can actually lead you to what the issue could be so um let's check on that swap so we can actually uh, disable sudo um swap yeah so to disable swap you do swap off dash a so sudo swap off dash a so there you've disabled and you can also check on the the it's uh the fs tab file to see if we've uh, permanently disabled so cd slash it's let's actually uh edit that file so via vim so the vim slash it's fs tab and you can see I didn't disable here permanently. This is the the line that enables swap. So let's um, comment out that line so that it's also disabled in this file. So insert and then we put that one and then uh, we save. Yeah, so that should be okay now. So let's try and restart our kiblet service. Let's first of all check the status. Yeah, it's actually up already. So that was the issue. It was because of the swap. So remember that every time you're installing your Kubernetes cluster, you're supposed to disable swap on all the nodes from the master node and all your worker nodes. So yeah, our kiblet service is running. So let's go back to master and check if my node is now ready. So, kubectl get nuts, and my node is ready, and I'm now going to start working on my cluster. 
thank you guys for watching so if you have any issue maybe you've experienced anything that uh it's not working for you in your kubernetes cluster you can also let me know in the comment section because uh, we can discuss together and help uh, one another to find the solutions for anything that is trouble uh, that's giving us trouble so thank you for watching uh comment let me know what you think about this video and kindly consider subscribing to this channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so so much for supporting my content and if you're new here please consider subscribing so until the next one see you guys goodbye